Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. Today is Friday. <laughs> Today is Friday and I've just been running around doing errands. Today I went to AC Moore and I got a bunch of stuff so I'm going to show you what I got. And um, everything is on sale because they're going out of business. So I got a few things and um, I'm going to, I got some baskets that I want to organize the pantry with. So I'm going to show you that. I'm gonna get tidied up. I'm gonna put the baby down for her nap. Because she's. It's about that time. So I thought I would just vlog um, today. There's a lot of. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Guys, could you be quiet, please? Be quiet, please? So if you do like these cleaning motivation videos and cooking videos, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe because I am posting twice a week, Tuesdays and you know, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So let's just get right into the video for today. This is the stuff that I got at AC More today. This 10 piece um, picture frame set was, I think, $7. Um, it was on sale so I got that I want to decorate some of like the first floor with that and then I got this four pack of like plastic baskets and they were um, originally $20 and I think they turned out to be like 11 or 12 bucks for four so I got two of those what else did I get oh so I am gonna be um, I want to get back into like art and doing um like art stuff so i bought a canvas um a few canvases because everything i said was on sale and i bought a bunch of these acrylic paints um and then i bought some um paint brushes too so i'm gonna play with that that'll be later on so i picked this up this is a cocktail shaker um so it's stainless steel and glass and it has different um like drinks on the sides and it tells you how much of what ingredient to put in for that to like for that drink so i thought this was super fun and we're planning on getting a little bar cart so Derek could put his whiskey and then i thought this would be cute to put like on the bar cart as well and it was like eight dollars eight or nine dollars so um got so in here are the canvases and so i got this is a two pack 11 by 14 and they were like four dollars i think they were about four dollars so i got two of those so i could play around with that and then i got this cute little um neck pillow for the baby for the car and it's like memory foam you see that oh my god it's so comfy so i thought that would be fun to have in the car just like for the times that she falls asleep i got her like a squishy ball so to play with that so i got these little um packets of like scent things and this is laundry basket set and oh my god it smells so so good so i'm gonna put these in like the drawers um in our drawers because they have a, like um like a wood smell and i don't like when my clothes smells like wood so i just got a bunch of these because these were these were like a dollar each um i got these um twinkle lights these tiny little led lights these were like four bucks and then here is the other the other set of baskets um and i think that was it so that's my little uh ac more haul i was gonna say ikea for some reason so um i'm gonna organize my pantry with these now and i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna use them so this is what the pantry looks like right now um, so everything is pretty organized because I organized it like a couple of weeks ago and I talked about it in one of my previous videos. Um, so you can see that's the floor down there and then there's more space down there and I have a bunch of, so it, it's pretty deep. Um, like it goes in pretty far. So, um, that is what it's looking like right now and I organized it like I said like a couple weeks ago so it's pretty organized everything has its place but I feel like it could be a little bit better organized so that's why I bought those containers those little plastic baskets so I'm gonna go in and start organizing and I'll show you how I do that so I did not film putting the stuff away because I don't have a place to put my camera right now in this like hallway because the pantry is kind of like in a hallway. Um, so there's nowhere to put the camera but um, I finished organizing it with all of the um, with the eight little plastic boxes um, like baskets and I'm going to show you how I organized it and got rid of some boxes. So I'm going to show you how everything looks. 
Okay, so up top I have cereals, up here some Ritz crackers, and then chips. Um, so before I had a few bags of like um, like snack food. Uh, so I'm gonna try to keep that up there like that. Um, and back there Derek has some vitamins and then there's just an empty glass jar which I have to figure out what to do with that. Um, but that's what I have on the top shelf right now. So on the second shelf here, this is at my eye level. So I have all like the cooking stuff, like spices and stuff. So on the very last one, I have stuff that I don't really use as much. Um, so big old container of Old Bay. Here's some sea salt that I bought. Um, and just spices and things that I don't use all that often. And then there's like vanilla extract back there. In this one, I have um, a few that I don't use as often, but I still kind of reach for every once in a while. So I have cinnamon in here, bay leaves, um, just a bunch of stuff, some Italian seasoning, and I have another Italian over here. So um, coriander, so just a bunch of spices that I don't use as much, but um, I like to have them there. And then in this one, this is like my daily cooking basket so i have adobo so this one's almost empty so once this is empty then i'll throw that away and i'll have that one i um took out all my sasson packets and i put them in here um instead of having it in like the box so i got rid of the box so i have all these here there's more back there and then a few right here and then i have this is garlic powder this is cumin which i need more of you can see it's almost done but i love Comino, and then garlic salt, which I've been using a lot, and this is the other Italian seasoning that I have. Some taco seasoning, so I got this big one instead of getting those little packets, and this has been really good. Um, and then right here in the front, I have Old Bay, so this is the little container that I had before. And then right in these little crevices, I was able to fit the little cubes, um, bouillon cubes, so I have... Um, beef and this one's shrimp flavored and then this one is chicken flavored so those fit perfectly in there and now when i have to cook i don't have to just grab all the the bottles like individually i just grab the whole basket and then put the basket back um so then in this first basket here i have um like my cooking salt it's just like regular salt i have coconut oil i have coconut oil spray and regular pam spray i have this here this is like corn syrup and then back here an unopened thing of ranch so i have those in there and then over here we have some peanut butter so this is the opened one and the one that's not opened in the back Derek's snack so um these are peanuts i got these at giant and then these were a gift for him from christmas for christmas time and then i put the opened snacks in a ziploc container just so they could stay a little bit more fresh i have a big bag of trail mix these are the bulk um things of chocolate syrup so we got those at costco and then in this basket back here, I put tea. So there's bagged tea from Tivana. And then, let me see if I can grab some of these. So these little containers have tea in them. So we have a bunch of those down there. And then this is the Tazo Passion Tea. Um, and I bought that to try to make the um, the refresher drinks. So I think it's, what is it called? Um, yeah, the refreshers from Starbucks. So um, if I ever get around to actually doing it, I'll show you how I do it and if it tastes the same as like the strawberry acai uh, refresher from uh, Starbucks. So I have that there. Then on the next shelf down, um, I didn't really do much in here um, as far as baskets. I didn't put any baskets, but I'll kind of go over what I have. So back here I have like baking things, so it's a little dark, sorry. Um, so there's some treat bags back there that I got for Christmas time. I didn't even use, so I'll use them next year. Um, this is like a, a mold, so I bought this for Amara's birthday party because it was her first birthday party was mermaid themed and then her second birthday party was Moana themed. So um, these seashells worked for both of them. So I have that there. And I have a little bag of mini 
marshmallows back there, some sprinkles. This is um, a container of uh, cornmeal, which I need to go buy some more cornmeal. I have honey here, which actually, yeah, I'm going to put the honey up here. Um, so it fits in here, so I'm going to put it there. Um, some syrup, extra sugar, and the little chocolates for the mold. And then I have some um, brownie mix there. And I think this is, yeah, so that's um, cornbread muffin mix. I have pancake mix, uh, oatmeal. We have a thing of Oreos, which I don't know. Yes, so I'm going to put the Oreos up there with the rest of the snacks so oatmeal breakfast stuff um this is flour this is sugar and have a bag of brown sugar back here this is what is this oh cornstarch um have a box of instant potatoes breadcrumbs Derek's mac and cheese and then we have pasta back in this corner so i have lasagna pasta linguine uh fettuccine and um pot-sized pasta so this is for when i make soup and then i have just one of the penne pasta back there so that's that third shelf on the last shelf um i did use three of the baskets so um starting back there i have canned things so we have a big giant pile of tuna a big thing of tuna from costco and we still have some like we got that months and months ago um there's more tuna down there so we have some chef boyardee for emergencies um crushed tomatoes uh pasta sauce uh refried beans tomato sauce black beans um to more tomato sauce some sweet peas and more beans um packets of ramen noodles because they're my favorite snack and then um i've been putting my rice in these um big ziploc bags because um i don't like to put them in i don't like to put the rice in like a plastic box because it i don't know it makes it taste weird and it just freaks me out so i've been putting um the rice in the ziploc bags and it's worked out great because i don't get the big giant bag of rice i get i think it's like the five pound bag of rice so that works out so here are the baskets so these are the snack baskets so right here in the front in this first one i have some chewy bars and then some ritz cheese crackers and then some peanut butter ones in here again i like to put things in ziploc bags because it keeps things fresh so here i have uh, mini pretzels down there I have just some crackers and then um, her Amara's um, goldfish so I put those in a big giant bag and then in the last container I have some raisins right here um, these little muffins the little chocolate chip muffins I have some like little kid chewy bars so these are snack bars I think yeah so these are the strawberry snack bars and and then her little bag so i like to take snacks in my purse so these um work perfectly to just throw in my bag so these are pretzels and then this is kind of like her trail mix like we have mini pretzels fishies in there some pretzel nuggets um and these are just good to have ready to go because whenever we're going out and i just need to have some snacks for her i can just grab them and put them in my purse and then back there are some uh, biscuits, some apple biscuits. The last box. So in this corner, I just have some animal crackers and a little thing of juice. And then down here, I didn't change anything because it's pretty organized. So we have this little corner here is for extra juice. And I need to go to the grocery store. So don't mind me. But we have Amara's juices. Um, that's like cran cranberry mango juice it's for your, like drinks. But we never use it. So it just sits there. So... This is the big container of pretzels. We have crackers, popcorn, coffee, and then Ziploc bags because they didn't fit in my other drawer. So that is my pantry organization. Um, I am so happy that I was able to go and pick up those baskets um, at AC Moore for like 11 or $12 for the four pack. Um, I think I might be going again. I think I'm going to go again soon to get more of those baskets before they actually uh, close um, because I would love to have like everything organized and I could use them in other places so I might go grab some more but um if you did want to get those like I said I got those at AC more um on sale because they're going out of business so 
so that is it for this part of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this and um i love my organization it's looking really great and i'm really happy with how it's going and i have room to grow um like whenever i go grocery shopping there's space for stuff that i buy um so i think I have so I have a client later at the salon um, at three so and it's like through it's two four two geez I can't even think it's two twenty now and the baby's down for the nap for her nap um I literally cannot talk so let me start again I have a client at three o'clock at the salon and it's two twenty now I want to clean out the fridge take out stuff that's been sitting in there for a while for like a couple weeks and i want to actually wipe everything down clean it out i want to do the same thing to the freezer and um i'm gonna film that for you guys as well so it's gonna be kind of like a kitchen centered video for today um and then i have to clean the kitchen because i didn't do dishes last night so um so after i do the fridge and the freezer like clean that out um i'm gonna just clean the whole kitchen because i didn't do it last night because i didn't feel like it um and i made dinner last night so there's a little bit of a mess some cleaning to do so i am going to vlog that whole thing so this video is more like kitchen centered so i hope you guys are enjoying it so far if you do like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really helps me out lets me know what you guys want to see and um yeah so that is it for right now and i'll get back with you guys in a little while
it is later on now, 5.25ish, and um, I finished cleaning up a little bit, and I am doing some baked potatoes in the oven now, and they're going to be in there for like 45 more minutes, and then I had Derek bring some salmon home from Costco because he was going to go in there, um, so we have all of this. So I seasoned it up. Salmon, Milano with basil, pesto, butter. Um, but I always season it with um, adobo and garlic powder and Old Bay. Um, and I season both sides. And then when the potatoes are almost done, I'm going to um, cook these on the stove. Like um, pan sear them or pan fry them, whatever it's called. So it's quick. Pan sear, yeah, but it's going to get cooked the whole way through. So it's not just searing it on the outside, but so that is the plan for tonight and I will um for dinner anyway. And um once I have that all done, I'll show you guys. I'll probably just make two of these because like three of them is too much. So I'll leave the third one for tomorrow for lunch, maybe. Um but yeah, so far that's what's going on. And I'm gonna go hang out now while food is getting done. So that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some motivation to clean your house or clean your room or clean your kitchen or clean whatever it is that you need to get clean. And this recipe is really good. So you guys should try it out. I did have the potatoes in the oven for about 50 minutes and the salmon. I just cooked it on um, the pan for like 10 15 minutes max and it was really good so thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already liked this video and i will see you in my next one bye